This is Aline from Javelin. How many mates can you apply at once in SOLIDWORKS? One, two, maybe even three? Let's find out. Let's start by using the mate icon for applying mates. And actually the fastest way to use this technique is by pre-selecting the entity that you want to be mated. In this case I'm going to try to mate this face to this face, so both of them are going to be concentric. So the fastest way is to select one of them, take advantage of the in context toolbar, select the mate command. The moment you do that, automatically the face you selected is being listed here. And now select the second mate. If you take advantage again of the in context toolbar, you have the option also of changing the alignment directly here, it's much closer to your mouse. Now, what if I don't even want to use this mate icon? Well, I can use the smart mating technique that involves pressing the Alt key and dragging an entity over another entity of the same type. So, for example, if I would like this face to be coincident to this face, the only thing I need to do is to drag the first face with the Alt key pressed. And in 2012, SOLIDWORKS 2012 and 2013, it doesn't matter what you do first, if you start dragging first or you press the Alt key first. So as, I, as you notice, as I'm going over various flat faces, the first face is trying to get in a coincident position to the second face. And also you have the option to change the alignment directly from, uh, from the pop-up. What if I want to apply two mates at the same time? I would like this face to be coincident to this face and this face to be concentric to this face. Well, let's find out what's common be between these two faces. And it looks like this round edge is what's common. Same thing between these two faces. So again, with the Alt key press, uh, pressed, I'm going to drag this edge. And as I'm going over the other edge of the same type, uh, this time the pop-up or the icon next to my cursor looks like uh, there is a peg going, to, going into a hole. So if I let go of the Alt key right now, I also have uh, an option of changing the alignment by pressing the Tab key. And as you can see, it's quite easy to switch the alignment. If I let go, there is no other confirmation toolbar I need to use. But if you're looking through the mates, two f mates have been added So in the mates folder. One is concentric, face to face coincident face to face. So it's not really a mate between the two edges that I selected. It's actually between the faces around those edges. So let's try to do it again. I'm going to press the Alt key, drag this edge, and notice as I'm hovering over another edge, I'm getting this peg in a hole. If I'm hovering only over a, let's say a flat, flat face, like this one, notice what's going to happen it's going to apply just a coincident mate between the flat faces. So it's pretty smart. Can I apply three mates at once? Let me just delete this uh, bolt and insert um, another component that has uh, multiple entities I would like to mate. So for example, uh, the idea here is to mate this face with this face. So I'm going to apply a coincident mate between the two of them mate this face to this face. So I would like to apply a concentric mate. And a pair of these bolt holes it should pose to get into a concentric mate. So what's the trick here? Drag this edge, pressing the Alt key over the other corresponding edge. If you let go, actually three mates are being applied at the same time. Concentric face to face, big faces, concentric for the bolt holes, and coincident to the flat faces. The only problem I have to this workflow is when I drag this, I don't really have an option for telling SOLIDWORKS which pair of the ball holes is supposed to get in a concentric mate. If I press the tab key, it just gives me the alignment, anti-alignment. And looks like uh, this issue was is quite important for a lot of users. So they uh, probably requested this functionality to SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS listen. Now the workflow for controlling the ball hole pair that's going to get in a concentric mode, it's not really intuitive, but this is how it works. You open the cover or the other part in its own window. Tile both windows together, the assembly and the part for the cover. 
press the alt. I, I mean, you don't have to press anything. Just drag this edge from uh, from the part file into the assembly file. And as you go over the corresponding edge at the assembly, if you press the tab key, notice this what's happening. SolidWorks is just trying to find a different solution for the ball holes. So if I'm looking what I did here, I get these two faces concentric and I got these two these ball holes uh, concentric. So let's try to do it again on the other side. I'm gonna drag this edge. I'm gonna press tab and let's find let's leave it like that. It's slightly different than what I had before. Notice now that ball hole is here. So when you press tab, you just go to the next option. Now you have to be aware that this works only when uh, these holes are being done as a result of a pattern. And the pattern has to be the same on uh, on both sides. I was trying this with, uh, with the whole wizard command. So um, let me just delete these two components. And from here, I'm just going to suppress the original hole and turn on a new set of holes that it, it was done with the hole wizard. So when I'm dragging this over the assembly, press the I don't need to sorry I don't need to press the alt key, just drag it over here. Now notice if I press tab it just changes from one side to the other. And actually what, what you're gonna find out is that the ball holes get ignored. So only the two big mates are being applied. I hope you like this. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about uh, using mate references. Uh, the idea behind that is when I drag or when I insert a, a new component into the assembly, let's say I want to insert this cover right here, the moment I let go, I want automatically to apply those three mates. So it's going to find its own uh, place in the assembly. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.